welcome to this class of YouTube analysis and synthesis here we will be discussing second order circuit case 3 where complex conjugate roots come this is our RLC circuit where a voltage source V is taken a resistance R an inductor L and a capacitance C is there and this switch is closing at t is equal to 0 this switch is named as K as usual current we assume clockwise and that is IT for this equation we have earlier written differ its uh, corresponding differential equation which comes out to be of third second order and if we consider these values of voltage source and inductance resistance and capacitance <coughs> then our characteristic equations becomes this which results in roots two roots which are going to be complex so here it has real part which is negative and a complex part which is in conjugate plus j1 and minus j1 now if we want to write its solution then that will be it is equal to k1 times the format which we have used earlier k1 times e to the power this solution in the exponent so minus 1 plus we will take first plus j1 times t and then second expression k2 times now this root with minus sign e to the power minus 1 minus j1 t here these exponentials which are having imaginary uh, exponent power that can be represented in terms of psi cos plus j sin t so that we will see that how it can be done so this becomes k1 t to the power minus t a to the power plus j t and here it becomes k2 t to the power minus t a to the power minus j t now the common part is this this we will take out and now k1 e to the power plus j t plus k2 e to the power minus j t is left within this bracket this can be written in this form which you have earlier seen that these two terms will be forming like this k1 can be written as k1 times e to the power plus gt will be written as k sin t plus k2 times this is with minus power minus j t so this part will be minus cos t plus j not j minus minus j sin t now if we see then this cos term is common so their coefficients will be added so k1 plus k2 cos t and plus j times k1 minus k2 sin t so we can write this again in this form that i t is equal to k to the power minus t 
a3 cos d plus k4 sin 2 where k3 is k1 plus k2 and k4 is j times k1 minus k2 now here this is our general form now we can go for initial conditions so initial conditions are like this <coughs> if we go by this expression then i0 plus will be 0 because we know that current through inductor cannot change instantaneously and when switch was open there was no current in the inductor and when switch is closed then also there will be no current through the inductor so i0 which was before opening of the switch that should be equal to just after closing the switch and that is equal to 0 and this if we substitute here the t then we will get e to the power minus 0 k3 cos 0 plus k4 sin 0 we know sin 0 is 0 so this part will be gone and we will be left cos 0 is 1 and this is 0 so we will be getting 0 is equal to this is 1 so 0 is equal to k3 then we will see about the derivative so derivative if we see then it is going to be d dt of i0 plus we want to find out this is equal to 1 ampere per second this we have got earlier now if we take derivative of this term then this k4 sin t this will be only left because this cos t term will be 0 if you take uh, k3 is equal to 0 so with k3 equal to 0 this term is not there we will be getting only e to the power minus t and k4 sin t so we will take its derivative and this comes out to be k4 and its derivative in two times so first this into derivative of sin t then sin t into derivative of to the power minus t so we get expression in t and if when we substitute t is equal to 0 we get So this here we have substitution for t is equal to 0 after getting its derivative and this is equal to 1. So what we get is that this part is 1 d dt of i0 plus is 1 and here we have got this expression after derivative of this this part is to be 1 now if you see then this sin 0 will make this term 0 this will be 1 this will be 1 so k4 is equal to 1 so we get k4 is equal to 1 
and we have got k3 is equal to 0. So with this if we substitute here then this k4 will be substituted as 1. This part will be gone. So we will have it with for minus t k4 is 1 sin t. So our solution will be i t is equal to t to the power minus t sin t. Now we need to show or see its plot that how we will be getting for this one. So that you can see through this graph paper that what we will be getting here is two terms one is e to the power minus t this is being multiplied with sin t and this is our i t so if we plot this and this and do multiplication point by point on graph paper then we can get the expression uh, the plot for i t so e to the power minus t is going to be like this and this is starts with plus 1 e to the power minus t when substitution of t is equal to 0 is done this becomes equal to 1 so it will be equal to 1 and this sin t also will be starting from 1 and this is sin t so it will start from 0 and so on. Now if you do multiplication point by point like this then we will get resultant this part is e to the power minus t this starts from plus 1 this part is sin t this also starts from starts from 0 so it goes up to plus 1 and this is minus 1 now if you do multiplication point by point so this peak this 0 this negative 0 this 0 this peak this 0 and this negative multiplied by with, with this point this is 0 multiplied by value here multiplied by multiplied with this value here it is plus 1 here it is 0 so if with this these points if we try to plot then this this value will be giving some positive value and this is suppose 2 and this is 2 and half so some value but if we come to this value now it is very less so it won't be equal to this it will be very less Similarly here if this negative is multiplied with this positive suppose this gives some value here now this negative is multiplied with this it will be giving very less values here it starts from 0 so 0 into 1 gives 0 and these zeros are giving us 0 this 0 into whatever is the positive value this 0 into whatever is the positive all these will be giving us zeros so with this we can get an idea of the waveform here it is negative comes here now this 
this is our resultant it and and it can be shown that this the peaks positive peaks and negative peaks they follow the envelope of e to the power minus t so here you get a decaying sinusoidal and decay of sinusoidal is exponential and this is known as e to the power minus t envelope and this is of course as we discussed e to the power minus t sin t this is also envelope this this envelope is of course minus e to the power minus t envelope because it is starting from minus 1 so this will be our it this is our it now comes the comprehension test so comprehension test will be that you are given a circuit that is with a source dc source and the switch which is keeping close the switch is named as k if this switch is closing at t is equal to this switch is not closing this is opening it was closed and you have a resistance of 10 ohm you have an inductor 1h this is carrying current i2 and a capacitor 20 microfarad the source is equal to 100 volts <coughs> now in this network the switch k is closed and i steady state is reached in the network so this switch was closed and it was closed for a very long time and a steady state in this network was achieved then at t is equal to 0 this switch is opened now you are supposed to find the expression for the current in the inductor i2 so you are supposed to find i2 t in the inductor so expression for this is to be obtained means when switch is opening then after opening of the switch what will be the expression for it general expression so with this i stop here thanks to all of you